CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220 -1101 Practice Exam. Questions 36 through 40. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So, are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 36. After diagnosing a problem on a workstation, gathering information from the user, and securing a system backup, what is the technician's subsequent step in the troubleshooting process? The answer is D. Establish a theory of probable cause. After securing a backup and understanding the issue, the technician should develop a hypothesis of probable cause. This involves analyzing the gathered information to pinpoint potential reasons for the problem, laying the groundwork for systematic troubleshooting and resolution. This theory guides subsequent testing and repair strategies. Question 37. In a mixed operating system environment where some workstations use Mac OS and others Windows, the Mac OS machines are required to execute software exclusive to Windows. Which of the following would most efficiently allow the Windows software to run on the Mac OS workstations? The answer is D. Cross-platform virtualization. Cross-platform virtualization allows a Mac OS workstation to run Windows-specific software by creating a virtual environment. This method emulates a Windows operating system within the Mac OS, providing the necessary platform for the software to operate as if it were on a native Windows machine. Question 38. When a technician responds to an incident where both internet service and the POTS lines are down, which technology is most likely being utilized at the affected location. The answer is C, DSL. DSL is the likely cause because it uses the same phone lines as POTS for data transmission. If both services are down, it suggests a problem with the phone lines as DSL does not require a separate line and integrates with the existing telephone network. Question 39. New servers have been purchased by an online retailer in order to support an increase in sales. To guarantee the optimal utilization of the new servers, which of the following should be implemented? The answer is C. Load balancer. The utilization of a load balancer ensures that incoming network traffic is efficiently distributed across multiple servers. This prevents any single server from becoming a bottleneck, improving overall performance and reliability. For the online retailer's new servers, deploying a load balancer would help manage the increased load, providing stability and efficiency during times of high sales volume. Question 40. A user has reported a malfunctioning fingerprint scanner that was operational until recently. What is the first action that should be taken following the submission of the support ticket? The answer is A. Inquire about recent changes. Understanding what has changed recently with the user's setup is pivotal. This could include new software installations, updates, or alterations in system settings that might interfere with the scanner's operations. Identifying these changes can guide the technician to a quicker resolution as it narrows down potential causes for the scanner's issues. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.